So today on Speed Duel Deck Reviews, we'll be looking at a deck that combines two archetypes. And uh, the reason we do that is because of uh, this very powerful skill card here. It's Tribal Synergy, where if you have an Amazonist monster and a Harpy monster in your hand, you can reveal them to draw one card. And it has a second effect where if you control an Amazonist monster and a Harpy monster on the field, you can draw two cards. So these skills can actually each be used once per duel. So this is a pretty powerful card. Draw advantage is always good. So adding uh, Harpies into an Amazonist deck isn't actually too difficult, and it works out really well. It synergizes pretty pretty nicely. So I think um, we'll take a look at that right now, and you'll see a lot of similarities between just the pure Amazonist deck, but um, with a, a couple key additions. So the uh, the first one is Amazonist Swordswoman, which you can see that it's a, a pretty powerful um, on its own at 1500 being um, a four-star monster but actually it has a pretty uh, pretty uh, interesting effect of if your opponent uh, battles this card and there's any battle damage it actually is uh, taken by your opponent and not by you so it makes it really um, hard to get over this card with like a, a powerful monster because they're going to end up taking a lot of battle damage if they attack over it with like a blue eyes or a perfectly ultimate great moth or something like that so it's always good to have um and with the um equip spells that we'll look at later it actually is just a pretty insane combo so next we'll be playing three amazonist sage and this card you play not only because it's a pretty decent card at 1400 attack, but it actually has a pretty interesting effect where um, at the end of the damage step, if this card is attacked and it's still on the field, you can target one spell or trap your opponent controls and destroy that target. So if it survives an attack, you are able to pop a spell and trap. So that's always nice where um, if you um, equip it with some equips we'll talk about later, it uh, often can survive, uh, can survive an attack. So um, the third Amazonist monster we're playing is Amazonist Chainmaster, and you really only want one of these um, because it's it is good, but um, situationally, so it's not always um, your go-to Amazonist monster. So if it's destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can pay fifteen hundred life points and look at your opponent's hand and add one monster from their hand to your hand. So fifteen hundred life points is a pretty hefty cost, but if you know what you're looking for and you know what deck um, you're really trying to um, take down, say if it was like a blue eyes trying to um, get that Lord of D, or uh, if it's um, one of the newer decks um, trying to hit one of the key cards from um, either uh, Weevil or Rex. Uh, it definitely, it's definitely possible to um, to really kind of cripple them if you can just look at their hand and just um, just cherry pick one card out. So it's always good if yeah if you're in that situation where you really don't have much and you think they're just gonna. Um, kill you next turn. So it's always good to it's good to have that card, but you don't really want it all the time. You kind of want that um, as needed. So, um, but the next card is uh, the uh, the Harpy card that we're actually going to play. We're going to play Harpy Lady three, uh, just two copies, because it's a pretty powerful card on its own right. But then combined with the um, the Tribal Synergy skill, being able to draw uh, either one or two cards depending on if you actually can summon this one. It makes it really, um, really hard to hard to not play this one. So its effect is uh, that if you um, battle this card, uh, if your opponent battles this card, that you cannot declare an attack for the next two turns. So basically, it freezes their monster, where if they were to just try to attack over this monster, and you know, with one of their again, one of their like blue eyes or something, a pretty powerful monster, it kind of freezes it and gives you two turns where you know you're not going to be hit by that monster which is usually enough time for you to um, for you to make something happen and really kind of uh, get um, get you know the, the game going back in your favor. So so I would think this is probably um, pretty critical to the deck um, and it definitely synergizes well obviously with the um, with the skill card. Now since we're playing um, some harpies in the deck, we're only going to play two Amazonist village and um, the skill card is pretty much, mandatory I would say in every Amazonist deck. It was it what makes it so good and um it basically not only gives you two hundred attack for all your Amazonist monsters, so unfortunately the Harpy would not benefit from this, but you once per turn you can um basically save a monster um uh, by if 
you have a uh, Amazonist monster that's um, destroyed by battle card effect, you can special summon one from the uh, deck uh, with less levels. So, I mean, if you have your Swordswoman taken down, I mean, you can just replace it with another one. And um, it really is good because you can do that every turn and you can basically create this wall that's really hard to get through um, with your monsters. And the next card we'll be looking at is uh, Amazonist Heirloom, which is again in the same uh, vein of village of just kind of trying to keep your Amazonist monsters on the field and um, really utilize their effects to their uh, highest potential. So what Amazonist Heirloom does is that it basically sticks a monster to the field one um, and lets it survive one battle. So if and it only works on Amazonist, but that's basically all the ones you're playing in the deck. Uh, you only have one Harpy or two copies of Harpy Lady Three. So, um, and then the bonus is that um, it destroys the attacked monster. So it is just extremely powerful. Probably like one of the best, I mean, spell cards in this deck. But it works really well. It synergizes really well with um, a card like Amazon Sage, because if um, this card is attacked and is uh, survives the battle, you can pop a spell and trap. So if you combine these two cards, basically. Um, and this card gets attacked, you can pop and spell a trap um, because Amazonist Heirloom saves it, and then you destroy the monster using the um, effect of Heirloom. So it's just a crazy, crazy card that from one attack, um, you can just uh, basically pop a monster and a, a spell or trap on the other side of the field. So it's a really, really good card and um, definitely invaluable in this deck. And another card that in my opinion, it's pretty invaluable, is a Half Shut. And that's because it just synergizes so well um, with um, kind of all the monsters in terms of just being able to save them because that's kind of what you want to do. You kind of just want to keep monsters on the field and keep that pressure on your opponent. So it's always good to have, you know, at least one or two monsters on the field. And, and this deck really works, really works well with that strategy of just, you know, having not necessarily big monsters, but really like just keeping that constant pressure of, um, of having more and more and then Amazonist Village just kind of, you know, keeping just, you know, that keeping them coming just uh, and surviving attacks with heirloom. It's a really, it's a really tough deck to get over. Um, but Half Shut works really well where it's a, um, um, a quick play and you can have your attack of your monster and um, allow it to survive um, battles this turn. So it works extremely well um, with um, Amazonist Swordswoman where if you have the attack of this monster, it gets down pretty low to 750, and it is able to survive an attack, so it stays on the field, then the bonus is that your opponent takes all the battle damage. So if it hits it with a really strong monster, you're able to um, just even drop your attack even lower to um, to kind of just cement um, a huge dent in their uh, life points. So uh, I would say this this is overall really, um, a really a really good deck, and it's based on strategy. And um, in terms of the traps, I think these are pretty standard traps um, that you see in pretty much most decks. Um, right now, uh, Windstorm of Itaqua, it um, just works really well just to kind of buy you time and, again, just put pressure back on your opponent where if they think they have the advantage with having, like, two or three really powerful monsters, you just switch them to defense mode and uh, buy yourself at least one turn and probably um, probably kind of turn the game around there from... Uh, from there because you can uh, really take advantage of a lot of the effects of your Amazonist monsters um, if you kind of just let them survive on the field and you build up to like three or uh, two or three. So instead of just having one in the field and getting destroyed every turn, I mean, it really works well when you have like three or so and then you can really um, uh, put the pressure. So it's good at saving your monsters, um, that trap card, and then kind of... Um, the same, along the same lines, uh, Kunai with Chain, uh, we'll play two of those, and I think it also works really well at saving your monsters, um, basically being able to, to save one by switching the uh, attacking monster into defense mode, but it also adds 500 attack to your monster, and usually that's um, that's pretty much enough to get over most monsters, um, especially with some of the higher attacks in this deck, um, and, uh, you know, adding in uh, Amazon's Village, giving 200 attack to all your monsters, and it gets really really powerful really quick. So, I mean, Kunao Chain, another just staple for this deck. And, and I think, I mean, this deck is pretty um, pretty hard hard to beat. And I think it's a really, uh, um, probably the best deck right now uh, with 
without really having fully tested the new decks, um, the machine deck, the um, Weevil deck, and the Rex deck. But I think it really, it really holds its own, and I think it's um, it's probably right up there with um, with Pure Amazonas as just like you know you can go either either or. I mean they're pretty similar decks. The Tribal Synergy is good, but the um, Necro Valley strategy is good too. At um, you know using um, Hidden Temples in Necro Valley. So so I think I think if you're if you're looking at a top tier deck, I would probably recommend this one. But um, it all depends on your locals, and that's really what um, you know what it comes down to. And in terms of like looking at like uh, these trap cards, you can really switch out a lot of these. You can switch out probably Half Shot, Windstorm. Kuna chain if you really think you need to um, because this deck being all warriors I mean it is a little susceptible to um, uh, ready for intercepting so it's you know it's kind of hit or miss in terms of that I mean if people are playing that then you know you're gonna get hit a lot but if they're not then it's kind of smooth sailing um, in terms of just being able to get you know all your monsters out all the time so anyway so thanks for watching and uh, let me know in the comments uh, the, your thoughts on the deck and if you have any suggestions for cards and if you tried it out at locals. So um, thanks and uh, until next time.